sir. Thank you. Hi. Hi. I'm Peter. I'm your father's new nurse. Yes, I've heard. I'm Simone DeVoe. Nice to meet you. Your mother seems to know my father somehow. Yeah, she's, uh... Yeah, she's, uh... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, my mother, she's, she's full of surprises. I want to thank you. I know it's a real hard job. Dying's hard. What I do, it's just... I'm here to help. Oh, you're a real hero, to care for a perfect stranger like this. This may sound strange, but... your father's last few weeks... his death... it can be beautiful if you let it be. Sure, piece of cake. I'm not saying it's not tragic for you. I'm just saying, you know, death is the one thing that connects us all. It reminds us that what's really important is who we've touched and, you know, how much we've given. It makes us realize that we have to be good to one another. See, your father, he's the real hero, not me. Come on, I'll show you the apartment. Get you settled in. Believe me, if he knew, you'd know. There's a look you just can't hide when it first shows. What about Nathan? Linderman tells me Nathan will be ready to play his part. Well, he's been wrong before. Meaning what, exactly? I think that Linderman is betting on the wrong brother. Are we talking about the same Peter here? I look in Peter's eyes, I see compassion, empathy, but most of all, I see hope. This world won't be saved on strength. What it really needs is heart, and that's Peter. Charles, don't get me wrong. I like Peter, but that poor kid can barely get out of his own way. He's ruled by insecurities. He's weak. No, trust me. This bomb is going to go off. And Nathan is going to be the one the world turns to. I don't believe this tragedy is inevitable. Then, one of us is going to be right, one of us won't. Oh, I'm glad I won't be alive to see which one that is. You are in my prayers, Charles. I could use them. Goodbye, my dear, dear friend. I know you're there, Peter.